Hello everyone, all the engineering graduates and science post graduates, there is a great news for your career. Yes, BARC recruitment notification for 2026 is out. All those candidates who are seriously preparing for gate examination and also preparing for different PSU examination, this is going to be a great opportunity to boost up your career. BAR 2026 examination is basically uh, conducted in two modes. First one is the CBT examination, that is the computer-based test, online test in which you have to appear at the prescribed center. And then depending upon your uh, merit, depending upon your performance in that written test, you will be called for interview. The other mode is that using your GATE scorecard for the relevant air and the relevant engineering branch or the science branch, you can also opt for uh, your, you can also opt for call for interview through gate score. So these are the two modes in which you can uh, find this opportunity either by using the gate score card or simply writing the online examination. In this particular small session, I'm going to tell you about what are the different important dates, different uh, important informations related to the BAC 2026 recruitment notification at the same time, I'm going to tell you that what has been the previous year cutoffs for the interview call and the final selection for BARC recruitment drive. So let's start. So as you can see on the screen, this recruitment drive is basically conducted for the engineering graduates and the science postgraduates. It means all those who have completed their engineering uh, graduation degree and all those candidates who have completed their science postgraduate degrees are applicable for writing or applying for this particular examination or the job. Now there are basically two modes. One is OCES that is the orientation course for engineering graduates and science postgraduate. This is basically for one year. And then we have DGFS that is DAE graduates fellowship scheme for engineering graduates. It means it's a kind of two year program like you go for MTech for higher education in several IITs, NITs, IC Bangalore. Similarly, the BARC uh, department is going to give you the facility to go for higher education within the BARC itself for two years training and then you will be confirmed for the recruitment, then your job is going to be permanent. Now let us talk about some of the important dates. So if you see, the online application portal is going to be launched for OCES and DGFS. Let me just highlight it. For 2026, on 22nd of December 2025, it is the tentative date. It is not 100% confirmed. It may change. What is the last date for the online application for OCES and DGFS 2026 application? That is 21st of January 2026. The correction window for the online application for OCES and DGFS 2026 examination is from 7th of February to 14th of February 2026. The allocation of online exam venue, the confirmation come generation of hall ticket, that is when admit cards are going to be available, it is 15th February to 20th February. When the online examination is going to be conducted, the online examination is going to be conducted on 14th and 15th March. The GATE 2026 score has to be uploaded by the candidates because till that time, the GATE result is all already going to be published. So all those candidates who are applying for this examination, they have to upload their GATE 2026 scorecards. And the window is 26th of March to 2nd April. The display of the list of the candidates who are shortlisted for the selection interview, it means call for the interview. That is going to be the second week of April. Next, the selection interview slot for the candidates who are selected either through the GATE scorecard or through, the, through their performance in the computer-based test for OCES and DGFS 2026 examination, that is going to be 20th April to 26th April. The selection interviews are going to be conducted around 12th of May to 12th of June. Displaying of the list of the candidates finally selected for OCES DGFS program on the online application portal is going to be last week of June. 
the details of the mtech admissions in dgfs it means all those candidates who are opting for the dgfs program that is equivalent or similar to the mtech mtech program for two year so they have to uh, they have to provide the details of their mtech admissions in dgfs institute by selected oces and dgfs 2026 candidates it is going to be somewhere around first week of july 2026 Declaration of the list of the applicants finally selected for the DGFS 2026 program. It is going to be second week of July. Pre-employment medical test. When your medical test is going to be conducted somewhere around 1st of July to 23rd of July. The commencement of OCES program which is a one year program. It is going to be 31st of July. Now let me tell you what is the salary and what are the benefits once you are selected in this examination. So if you see at par with the other uh, government and private jobs, you can see if the salary is going to be at par excellence. The monthly stipend during the training period is going to be is going to be somewhere around seventy four thousand. The book allowance is going to be thirty thousand for OCES, whereas the tuition fee is going to be fully uh, covered for the DGFS program. The accommodation is going to be provided. Hostel accommodation will be provided. Once your appointment is made permanent, that is the training period is over and it is completed, then the starting salary is going to be somewhere around 1,35,000 per month. The job designation is going to be Group A government post. You will be getting other benefits also like travel alliance, health benefits and so many other perks apart from your monthly salary. So it is going to be a good job, reputed job. And it is not simply a job where you are working for the money. No, it's going to be a job with a lot of recognition. Your work is going to be recognized by the society, by your peer groups. It means it's not just a job. It's a job with a lot of respect. Okay. Now, let us talk about the OCS and DGFS program, how it is going to be conducted. So, basically, it is a two-step process. The first step is to go for the online screening examination. Okay, either you can opt for the online screening examination. It means you can appear for the written test and depending upon your performance, you will be called for interview. And once your interview is also done and you are in the final merit list, then you will be finally selected. The other route is that you can also go with your GATE score, GATE 2026 score you can use to get a call for the interview. Is it clear? What is the maximum age limit? Now, age as on 1st of August 2026, for the general category candidates, it is 26 years. For OBC non creamy layer, it is 29 years. For SCST candidates, it is 31 years. Dependent of those who died in the rights of 1984, it is 31 years. Persons domiciled in Kashmir Division of Jammu and Kashmir State from 1st January 1980 to 31st December 1989 is 31 years. And persons who are having the physical disability uh, of 40% or more, they are going to be considered for age relaxation and may be permitted a scribe to assist them. Okay. What is the minimum age limit? The minimum age limit is 18 years. Now, these are the different streams or the specialization in which people can apply. So, you can see. It is mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, metallurgical engineering, electrical engineering, electronics engineering, computer science engineering, instrumentation engineering, and civil engineering. And these are the relevant eligible qualifying degrees. It means with your relevant branch or relevant specialization, you must be having these qualifying degrees. For example, if you talk about the electrical engineering, there should be BE, BTEC, or BSc engineering, or five year integrated MTech in electrical. Electrical and Electronics Engineering, BE, BTEC, BSc Engineering, 5-year Integrated MTech in Electronics. So these are the minimum qualifying degree requirement if you want to apply for this particular examination. Okay. Now let us talk about what has been the GATE score cutoff and the computer-based test cutoff for the previous year that is 2025. So if you see the 2025, for computer science engineering, the GATE score cutoff was 831. It means people who have 831 as their GATE score, 
they are finally selected. CBT score cut off out of 300. So out of 300 marks, for computer science it was 124, for electronics it was 80 and the gate score card was uh, gate score was 788 for electrical it is 720 gate score and the cbt score out of 300 is 119 for civil engineering it is 817 and 103 out of 300 for mechanical the gate score is 743 and cbt marks are 89 out of 300 for metallurgy it is 810 in terms of the gate score and 180 marks out of 300 as per the CBT examination. You can also see and have some uh, idea about the 2024 examination cutoff. So if you can see, there are three categories. These are the discipline, these are the written test performances, okay, the minimum marks, these are the minimum gate scores for the final selection and these are the gate score cards who have got call for the interview not finally selected this is for finally selected this is for finally selected and this is for call for interview as per the gate score card so let me just tell you about electrical electrical the computer based tests who are having 116 marks they are finally selected gate score card who are having 744 they are finally selected call for interview was given uh, from 680 if you see electronics 89 was the CBT cutoff for 2024, 663 the gate score for final selection and 605 who got the call for interview. Similarly, you can see for the computer science, 107 was the CBT performance, CBT marks for final selection, 812 gate score for the final selection and 620 was the gate score from which students got the call for interview. Okay, these are for 2023. You can see the 2023 cutoff also, but I think 2025 and 2024 is going to be more relevant and give you more better picture. But if you want, you can see these 2023 cutoffs also. So I have just given you 2023, 2024, and 2025. Uh, cutoffs and uh, you can depend upon them these are from the authentic resources after the after a lot of research so you can depend upon them but you just have some idea about it and don't just go with the cutoffs because any year you may get some surprises in the examination or even in the gate examination so you have to be ready for the surprises and your preparation should be should be such that it is not affected by the cutoff you just try to give your best in the examination okay this is the 2022 cutoff. This is the 2022 cutoff. You can see for electrical, electronics, computer science, especially you can see, or whatever branch if you belong to, you can see the cutoffs for 2022. So this is all for this small session. All the best for your BAC examination, and let's meet in some other session when we are going to discuss some more important information for your career. Thank you so much. Till then, goodbye. Take care. All the best. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody.